Welcome back sports fans. This week we're going to be talking about this video, in which this Japanese grandma, Yukimo Hotta, took on 245 pound Brazilian killing machine Gabby Garcia in the ring. And what happened next will shock you. Granny bounces off one side, she bounces off another, she bounces off another and then... Well, she basically then just gets the shit kicked out of her. Now I watched this and I thought, how the hell did this fight get booked? Somewhere in the world, someone's turning on the TV and going, what's grandma doing fighting that massive woman? So I looked into it and this story just gets worse. So Gabby Garcia is a 30 year old, 10 time Brazilian Jiu Jitsu champion who has in the past tested positive for banned substances. And she was initially scheduled to fight this woman, Shinobu Kandori, who turned up to the press conference dressed like a Terry's chocolate orange and who is also in her 50s. Meanwhile, Gabby Garcia turned up looking lovely, but she said things like this. If I fight with my mom or whatever, inside the ring I smash every, everyone. Then she just sort of towered over her opponent for a bit while the photographers took pictures and Shinobu clearly started thinking, what the actual fuck am I doing? Unsurprisingly, Shinobu pulls out of the fight and instead she asks her mate if she wants to do it. Her mate rocks up to the weigh-in, which is naturally overseen by this massive fucking human pot noodle. And she watches on as her enormous opponent gets weighed in, thinking, why the hell did I come dressed as one of the biker mice from Mars? Then when she actually gets to the ring, Guess who's there to give her an encouraging little pat on the back as she goes into battle? Yep, you guessed it, the Terry's Chocolate Orange. This time dressed more casually as a packet of peanut M&Ms. Viewer discretion in this next bit is advised, especially if you're the kind of person who doesn't like watching old ladies get the shit kicked out of them by jujitsu champions. Hota trying to punch back, but it's simply too much here. Garcia throwing some punches here, going for the ground and pound finish. Hammer fist, right hands, the referee says that is enough. Now this granny shaped punch bag, Yukimo Hota, she's not only 50 years old, but a little Google of her finds that this is the kind of fighting that she's used to. This is her in the white way back in her prime, 22 years ago. Essentially she's used to a sport where they do moves like this. And most of your knockouts come from just moving out the way as your opponent does a backflip onto her own face. You can just see poor Yukimo in the back with the chocolate orange going, you sure she's gonna dive on her own face if I do the rope thing? And the chocolate orange going, yeah, yeah, a few bounces off the rope is all it'll take. And then this happens. Back in Yukimo's heyday, when I was still in nappies and she wasn't yet, I remember Yukimo used to get thrown around the ring for a good 25 minutes before she'd stand up like an angry Michael McIntyre and be absolutely fine. Sadly, this time it just wasn't to be. And this story went the same way as all stories go that start, an old woman got into a ring with a young jiu-jitsu champion. RIP Yukimo. Rest in pieces. You can take your grandparents out to brunch, but with one punch we can knock your grandparents out.